A person may ask me, hey, Kevin, you know, back when I was young, I got molested, I got abused, I got treated poorly. Many bad things happened to me when I was young, back when I was a kid. What can I do to get over the pain? You know, I have been taking these medications. I have been getting high. I have been getting drunk. I am doing all of these silly things to try to take away the pain, but it seems like it is not working. So what can I do to overcome or get over the pain? Now this question have came to me quite a bit of times. I have seen this. So what can you do? Well, first, you have to repent of your sins first. And you may say, well, why do I have to repent of my sins first? Because, you know, those bad things happened to me. So I shouldn't be the one that have to repent. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> You can do whatever you want to do, but if you ask for my help, <laughs> listen to what I am saying, please. So the first thing that you should do is repent of your sins first. God, please forgive me of all my sins. So that is number one. I have ashy hands. Number two, what you need to do is forgive. Forgive. Well, Kevin, why do I have to forgive? Because I was a kid and I was innocent and I did not ask for that person to do that to me. True. But you have unforgiveness. And that unforgiveness is the problem. Yes, what happened to you is very bad. But when you don't let things go, that is bringing more weight upon yourself. This is why you have depression. This is why you are sad and crying all day because you won't let it go. You won't forgive your enemies. You won't forgive your, your dad, your mom, your uncle, your brother, your cousin, your friend, your mom's friend, your dad's friend, whoever's friend, you are not forgiving them. This is why you are depressed. This is why you are sad all the time. This is why you are taking those medications and stuff because you won't let it go. You can take all the pills you want. You can shoot up and smoke weed all day. You can get drunk all day. You can cut yourself all day long as long as you are not letting go of those issues. You are going to continue to feel pain. You have to forgive. Yes, that person did whatever they did to me, but hey, I forgive them. I let it go. That is the only way that you are going to heal. Holding on to that pain is going to make you feel pain. What if I was to take a hammer and hit myself over the head? <laughs> All right, I'm hitting myself over the head. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. I don't, want, I don't want to feel any more pain, so I am going to continue to hit myself. Why am I feeling pain? <laughs> Why am I feeling pain? <laughs> ow, ow, ow. You have to let it go. But if you continue <laughs> holding on to it, like I have to hold on to it. I have to because it hurts. So I have to hold on because this is the only way that I can stop feeling pain by holding on to it. <laughs> I pray that makes sense. How can you hold on to pain and say that you don't want to feel pain. How can you continue to cut yourself and say that you don't want to cut yourself? How can you say that 
you don't want to go outside, but you continue to go outside? How can you say that you don't want to do something, but you are doing the opposite of it? I don't want to feel any more pain, so that's the reason why I am holding on to those painful things. And I am wondering why, or it is weird that I am feeling pain when I am holding on to pain. Man, look, this is the pain, right? Because you are hitting yourself over the head, right? <laughs> ow, 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 ow. What you have to do is, <laughs> I'm silly. What you have to do is let it go. Look, pain right here, right? This is the pain, right? You got to let it go. Look, pain, you have to let it go. If you don't let it go, of course, you are going to continue to feel pain. So, number one, repent because you are in sin. Yes, your mom and dad, blah, 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 they hurt you. Yes, I am pretty sure that most of us have been hurt by our parents or brother or cousin or something like that. But you have to repent because you are in sin. And what you need to do is let go and forgive. This is the only way. If you don't let it go, like I said, you are going to continue to feel that pain. Ah, oh, my Lord. So I pray that this makes sense. This is the only way, unless you want to continue taking medications and pills and, and doing all of these drugs and alcohol. If you want to continue that, hey, don't let me stop you. <laughs> because you are not hurting me. You are not hurting your enemies. You are hurting yourself. Unforgiveness is a weight to you, a punishment upon you, not to other people or your enemies. Forgive. Well, I won't forgive, Kevin, because they had no business doing what they did to me and blah, blah, blah. Hey, it is your life, right? You can do whatever you want to do. I am just saying, you know, if you want to feel in a different way, <laughs> you have to change. But if you don't want to change, hey, don't let me stop you. God bless.